So if you follow my channel, you know I'm a big fan of the ThinkPad line, and specifically the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. This year's, of course, is the Gen 11. Now, I did my review of that. I unboxed it. I did a very comprehensive review, as you know. So for those that didn't see it, links will be in the description below. But I've teamed up with Lenovo and Intel to revisit this as I think it's worthy here in 2023, especially as we round out the end of the year with some significant discounts to be had on the X1 Carbon Gen 11. It brings a lot to the table, especially for the business user, but I think consumers alike will also love what this offers. Hey everybody, this is Andrew, and this is the revisit of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 here for 2023. Coming up. Now, as we take a look at the specs and pricing, I just want to let everyone know that I've teamed up with Lenovo and Intel to feature the X1 Carbon Gen 11 as being one of the best ultra portables for a business user here for 2023, and for good reason. Now, I keep coming back to it over and over despite having the ability to use other devices for a few simple reasons. It's still one of my favorite business laptops out there. I still love the keyboard. I love the overall look and the feel of a ThinkPad and the X1 Carbon Gen 11 pretty much fits that bill. The ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 has the Intel V Pro. It's the unrivaled business computing foundation for organizations of all sizes. You might be asking, well, what is Intel V Pro? Well, it is the business computing foundation that makes PCs professional grade. It equips IT to secure and manage a hybrid workforce without having to touch the PC too, while boosting user productivity, all in a single solution designed for businesses. And users get the performance they need for any task, no matter the location, thanks to the optimized wireless connections and intelligent allocation of workloads tailored to applications and how people use them. All in an integrated solution with the broadest choice of designs and support for multiple operating systems. So if you want to get the best possible business laptop, make sure it has the Intel V Pro label on the unit. Now, when I first reviewed the X1 Carbon Gen 11, it had a starting price of $14,1459, and price as tested was $2,085.99. Well, good news is that it has come down in price significantly since then. As you can see here, it now has a starting price of $1,198.45. That's a big difference than before. Now, fully decked out, you're looking at $2,280.30. That's 45% off the initial asking price, and that nets you a Core i7-1370P, the 2.8K OLED display. You also get 64 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabytes of storage, and for that price, you're getting a fully loaded Ultra Portable that I think is a great deal. And of course, for those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. Now, as you can see, there are quite a bit of options when it comes to the display and at the top end of course is the 2.8k oled display 400 nits of brightness 100 percent coverage of the dci p3 color gamut certified low blue light anti-reflective coating anti-smudge yada 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 i think you know that's going to be the best and it's going to have the best coverage of the color gamut have the highest color accuracy so if you're doing creative work in lightroom photoshop video editing color grading that is the display to choose so that is a nice option to go with now lenovo and intel sent over the full hd plus option on both the units that I have here. And that, of course, has a touch screen. It's a low blue light filter, IPS display. And I gotta say, it is really good. Although it is 400 nits of brightness, I wish it was a little bit brighter, but overall pretty good. And because it's a matte display, you don't get that unnecessary glare and reflection. So that's a nice benefit over, say, something like the 2.8K OLED, which has a glossy display. So for those that don't want the glare, wanna get work done in Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, and not contend with glare, that's the way to go. Now, as far as the claimed 400 nits. I actually got a bit less, 386 nits, but it's not too much of an issue outdoors as it is not a glossy display, so you don't see all that glare and reflection you would on, say, a glossy Gorilla Glass display or something to that effect, but just keep that in mind. But my overall takeaway is if you don't need all the features of that 2.8K OLED display, you'll be perfectly fine with this Full HD Plus touch model. So this is the camera on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 here for 2023. What we have here is a 1080p camera, 30 frames per second. That is, of course, good for your Zoom calls, good for your work from home needs, hybrid work needs. It's also an IR camera. That means you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. There's also a 
fingerprint scanner, the power button doubles as the fingerprint scanner, allowing you to log in as well. Now, as far as the studio effects, you have the auto framing as you see here. We've seen this before. You got the eye contact, a little bit of a creepy mode, of course. And then you have the background blur effect, as you see here. So a lot of the features we've been seeing in a lot of these laptops here for 2023 are present here. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, as far as the ports are concerned, you're looking at two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports that are full function, supporting data, charge, and display out. You're looking at a USB Type-A port, 3.2 Gen 1, an HDMI 2.1 port that supports resolutions up to 4K60. And, of course, on the right side, you're going to get a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack, a second USB Type-A port. It's also 3.2 Gen 1, a Kensington lock port to round out the ports on the unit. Now, on my V pro version you do have the nano sim card slot for the optional 5g on this unit so if you want that mobile broadband that is the way to go now, I already opened up this laptop in my full review. Obviously, the big thing here is you're not going to be able to upgrade this yourself as far as the RAM is concerned, but they do offer this up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's LP DDR5 RAM, and it is running in dual channel mode. Now, the good news is the SSD is user upgradable, and as you can see from these very good reads and writes, certainly fast enough for what you need this laptop to do, certainly Gen 4 performance here. Now you're looking at a Wi-Fi 6E Bluetooth combo card that is soldered into the motherboard, not upgradable by the user, but the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, both have been working flawlessly, no issues with either one. Now, if you want the optional mobile broadband, there are two choices here. You can go with the 4G LTE CAT16 modem that uses eSIM or a physical nano SIM, or you can go with the 5G Sub6 CAT20 modem. Now, the one with the Pro sent over by Lenovo and Intel does have that nano SIM card slot and does have the antenna leads ready to go if you want to add it yourself. So that I love that option here, although you can configure it at the time of checkout. That is a great option to go with, especially if you want to get work done on the road and have an always-on secure connection. Now, for this showcase, Lenovo and Intel sent over the Core i7-1365U. I originally did the 1355U. That's the one without the vPro. This one has a little bit better clock speed, a little bit better performance, actually, than the one with the non-vPro. So just keep that in mind. And as you can see, this is certainly good enough for everyday tasks, which you're going to throw at it in terms of Microsoft Office, email, web browsing. This all worked really well. And this vPro version is seeing good single thread and multi-thread performance, as you can see from the Cinebench R23 results, meaning you're going to be able to do Microsoft Office email web browsing on the road with this ultra portable. Everything will work out really well. The overall experience will be very good. Now, of course, don't expect to do 4K high-end video editing on this. This is not what this is designed to do. But if you need to bang out a Word document, bang out some spreadsheets and so forth, this will certainly do very well in that regard. Now, I saw very little difference in the battery life between the vPro and the non-vPro versions of this U-series processor, but I am seeing a year-over-year -year improvement over last year's Gen 10, which had a Core i7-1260P, a 28-watt CPU. So, of course, this year we're using a 15-watt CPU for as far as these review units are concerned, although the P series, of course, is available for purchase by the user. But if you want better battery life, obviously these numbers show the U-series will be more efficient, 11 hours and 33 minutes on the PC Mark 10 Modern Office test, and I got 13 hours and 58 minutes on the video playback test so overall good battery life and that's something we like to see on an ultra portable now the thinkpads are known to have very good keyboards and the x1 carbon in particular has a very good one with 1.5 millimeters of key travel i find it very comfortable for typing out long documents emails and the like now, a couple of things to note about the keyboard. It is a spill-resistant keyboard, so if you spill coffee, soda, water, or, or anything like that, it has a chance of surviving. you got to like those odds. And it also has an air intake system. That will help with the cooling of the laptop in general. So those are pretty unique features. And it also has a really good backlight. It's a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And having the white LED backlight against these dark keys really is easy to see the contrast. So that is working out really well. Overall, this is an excellent keyboard for getting work done. 
Now, when it comes to the pointing devices, you actually have two on this laptop. You have the trackpad and the track point. The trackpad is a precision trackpad that is good for two finger scrolling and doing all the gestures. Everything works as you'd expect. The track point, which is an inherent part of the ThinkPad DNA, allows you to do a lot of precision scrolling and stuff like that, or in limited space, um, say an airplane, seat back tray and stuff like that, that works out really well. So you have a couple of choices here and I like that. And I would say at the end of the day, the keyboard, the trackpad, the track point all work in tandem to allow you to get work done as far as productivity tasks and so forth. So it really is overall a good experience when it comes to those things. Okay, let's wrap it all up. And my overall takeaway is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 here for 2023 brings a lot to the table, especially if you want to get productivity work done in a package that's thin and light, easy to take with you on the go. I love the optional mobile broadband. I like the different display options, including the privacy guard for those that need it. Other options, of course, being the 2.8K OLED display for those that need to be more creative, have a better coverage of the color gamut, better color accuracy, you'll definitely have it. But if you want the better battery life go with the one that i have here the full hd plus 1920 by 1200 it's a touch display and it worked perfectly fine it will be more efficient and give you better battery life so you really get a complete package here with the thinkpad x1 carbon is it perfect of course not there are a lot of things i would like to see such as a high refresh rate option a 4k plus option maybe they'll bring that back who knows and you do really get a lot for your money here and especially at a reduced price right now again for those interested i have links for everything in the description below and i want to thank lenovo and intel for sending over this unit and for sponsoring today's video hopefully you enjoyed it let me know what you think about it in the comment section below let me know what you think i can do as far as different kinds of things going forward i am always curious to know what you think so till then i'll see you next time everybody have a great rest of your week and i'll see you soon so please hit the like button please subscribe please share this video don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and that platform formerly known as Twitter. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.